Hi, I'm Dr. Randy Morris. I'm a board-certified fertility expert and the medical director at the world-renowned IVF1 Fertility Center in Naperville, Illinois, and this is Infertility TV. When is a semen analysis most helpful? When it is severely abnormal. Guys with very low sperm counts or with very few moving sperm or who have many abnormal appearing sperm will have a very tough time producing pregnancies. These are no-brainers. Those couples should go right to IVF. But what about a guy with a normal semen analysis? Some of those men might have normal fertility, but some might not. We now have new sperm tests that can tell us more about those guys. Today, we will discuss who should have these tests, when they should be tested, and what to do if the test is abnormal. The most exciting new sperm test is called the CAP score sperm function test. This test identifies how many sperm have undergone the process of capacitation. Sperm that do not undergo capacitation will be unable to fertilize eggs on their own. Men with normal fertility usually have high CAP scores, that is, a high percentage of sperm showing capacitation. Men with fertility problems often have low CAP scores. This test should be one of the first fertility tests that a couple has, along with the semen analysis, and certainly before they have decided on a treatment plan. It's not impossible that couples with a low CAP score could get pregnant, but it might take a much longer time. If you have an abnormal test result, you should discuss with your doctor going directly to IVF, which would bypass the problem. Another helpful new sperm test is called the hyaluronin binding assay, or HBA. This is a great test for couples who are going to do IVF with ICSI. With ICSI, a sperm is injected directly into an egg to get fertilization to occur. But how do you know which is the best sperm to inject to get the best quality embryos? One method to find better quality sperm for ICSI is to first determine what percentage of a guy's sperm will stick to a molecule called hyaluronin. Hyaluronin is found in the cells that surround the egg. During the final stages of sperm maturation, the sperm develop the ability to bind or attach to hyaluronin. Research has shown that hyaluronin binding is an important indicator of sperm health and maturity. If a man has a low percentage of sperm that bind to hyaluronin, then the IVF lab can select sperm for ICSI based on their ability to bind HBA. The result is a greater number of good quality embryos, more pregnancies, and less miscarriages. Finally, the SEED test looks at genetic changes in sperm. These changes, which are called epigenetic modifications, may help identify men who will have more difficulty producing pregnancies and those who may produce poor quality embryos. The SEED test may be a good choice for men who are overweight, smokers, or who are taking medications. If you like this video, remember to like this video. Have a question? Leave it in the comments below. Infertility TV is broadcast weekly. Don't miss any episodes. Click here to subscribe. Click here to visit our website where you can register to become a patient.